Today we're going to talk about how to do some surface slip stitching and crochet on top of your knit piece like the one I have here. I have my marker placed where I want to go in between my stitches and do a slip stitch line. Today I'll be using a furls J hook and this beautiful pattern that can be found on my blog that I will link below. So I'm going to insert my hook into the space where I have my stitch marker. And then underneath here I have a ball of yarn and I'm going to take the end and place it underneath my work and kind of feel it and hook that end up and through with my crochet hook. Now both my tail end and my working end are underneath here and we are going to be working from the end that goes to the ball of the yarn and leaving the tail end to weave in later. All we will do is we'll simply insert our hook through the stitches we want, pull up a loop, and pull through the loop that's on the hook. We're going to do that all the way across and this creates a nice line on top of your knitwork. It's really quite simple to do. It might take a few minutes to get the hang of it because you can't see your hand that's underneath here holding the yarn, but you can feel it with your hook after you insert, yarn over underneath, pull up a loop, pull through the loop on the hook. Now I'm working about every two stitches um, on the knit work going across two stitches at a time because I kind of want a really nice thicker line of slip stitching across here but you can really do it however you want. You could technically even slip stitch all over different directions to create a shape or a name but this is how you're going to create these other lines on this pattern that simply just run across your work.